Hey everybody, Al Puglisi, Al Puglisi Trades. Today I want to talk about dormers for your model railroad or for any model railroad. What are dormers? Well, dormers are these things that jet out of roofs and they're on many different types of structures. And these dormers just so happen to be part of this South River Model Works kit. So I was able to build up the dormers in the kit on this particular building. Let me show you some other dormer styles. The reason I want to talk about dormers is because one of the main things I've learned with Howard as an apprentice is how to scratch build dormers. That could be a video by itself, but I want to just share with you some pointers and some tips that I've learned with different kinds of dormers and, and my scratch building escapades with Howard. Now, I'm not sure if this classifies as a dormer. This is a Foscali kit. What's interesting about these is, see how the windows jet up? They're actually part of the front wall of the structure. But it's not a separate dormer, but it has a dormer-like roof to it. So I thought that was a very interesting design, and it was part of this particular kit. Here is a three-foot-tall skyscraper um, by Custom Model Railroads, and it's got some interesting dormers on the top that came with the kit. It's a very interesting design, a different take on dormers. And here is a billboard of my lovely wife. Of course, uh, that was a long time ago. And uh, there's another picture of the wife there. I like my billboards. Pretty interesting use of some dormers. Pugsburg is a work in progress, so it needs to be dulled down with grays. It's a little bright right now, so it's a work in progress. But these are some townhouses in Pugsburg. I like European buildings, and I don't know if you consider this a dormer or not, the way that these jet out, out of the back but it's an alternate design of a dormer that I think is quite interesting. And over here, another European design. Here you have a, a walkout type dormer, which is very interesting. On this particular building, oh, you got Mr. Owl here. I put him up there. And believe it or not, not a single person has said, wow, there's an owl up there on your building. Some more uh, uh, different dormers here. He's, these are uh, stucco-type dormers that are on the American Brewery. And again, uh, this is a shot from Pugsburg. And again, this all needs to be grayed down. It's a little bright in color. It's a work in progress. But I just wanted to show you the different style of dormers. Oh, this is a kit-bashed uh, Vollmer building um, that I'm working on. It's a, a firehouse scene and uh, has very interesting dormers. I like the uh, arch-type dormers on this European design I thought was a, a very interesting dormer. Well, these are some dormers I kit-bashed uh, for a, my hospital building. Again, this needs to be grayed down some. It's a little bit bright color-wise. That, that will change as I, gray, as I gray down this. But you can see some different alternative type dormers that I've used on this particular building. This one has a chimney. Here is a Howard Zane design of a structure that I built uh, for the layout. Uh, Wilson Instruments that Howard was gracious enough to allow me to build a copy of. You can see the dormers here. Now, one of the things I'm going to talk about, one of the big mistakes I've made with dormers is see how the roof jets out? The roof should jet out a little bit past the front of the dormer. In other words, that, that roof jets out about a scale foot or two over the window. Let me show you a mistake that uh, I made. Okay, this is a microscale building, and on these dormers, these were cast dormers that came with the kit. 
but I cut off the roofs flush with the front of the dormers. These rooftops on the dormer should overhang some on the top of the dormer. And another thing that they're missing is they're missing the fascia trim. So I'm going to redo these dormers. I'm going to be putting the fascia trim in and I'm going to be extending the roofs so that they jet out about a scale foot over the windows. Nevertheless, it's still a good looking building and it's something that Howard taught me. And it's something that uh, is on my to-do list on the uh, model railroad to improve the dormer. Again, what are we talking about? You can see here that the top of the roof here should extend over the edge of the window. As you can see, it's about a foot, foot and a half extension where the, the roof overhangs the dormer. And what is this trim around the side of the dormer? This is known as uh, fascia trim going around the dormer. And what I just showed you on that microscale kit, I need to go back and I need to put in fascia trim around the dormer. And I need to redo the top roofs so that there's a slight overhang of the roof on the dormer. This is a scratch-built dormer. And these are some things that Howard uh, Zane taught me as an apprentice. Another thing that I messed up initially when I did dormers is it is imperative that as the dormer sits on the roof at a straight up and down angle, these boards need to be horizontal to the bottom of the roof. You don't want them non-horizontal. You want them horizontal not up and down or not at an angle or at an alternative angle, but uh, you want the boards to run uh, generally in a, a horizontal, a straight back and forth uh, run on the boards. So this is just an example of a, of a scratch built dormer. Again, you can see a typical installation and you can see that the clapboard is horizontal running with the boards, not in a different direction, and a little bit of overhang, and you can see the uh, fascia on these borders of these dormers. Here is a, a, a string of dormers that Harry, Harry Clark, uh, one of my mentors who passed away, he scratch built this hotel and put in this row of dormers along the top of the uh, hotel and I thought it added a tremendous amount of coolness to the structure. I don't know whether this was a prototype or not, but it was um, a very well done example of scratch built dormers. Here's an interesting um, version of a dormer. These are like ventilation type dormers on this particular structure. The two left and right Blue dormers don't house windows, but they're more for ventilation on this particular structure. Interesting, uh, interesting take. And again, here's another example. These dormers on this particular building need improvement. What I'm going to need to do, this is a, a building that uh, I took a Howard Zane design and added an extra story to. And the dormers do not, the roofs on the dormers are not jetting out past the edge of the dormer. They need to jet out past the edge of the dormer. And another thing that these dormers is missing are the fascia trims on the dormers. So it's a work in progress, and that's part of the fun of a model railroad. It's one of those things where I'll go back and I'll correct those dormers, and it will make a dramatic improvement on the building. My wife is mad at me here working on the top of the kitchen table. But <laughs> nevertheless, I'll clean up this mess. These are uh, nine dormers that I've been scratch building in O scale to go on this Howard Zane design to bakery. And you can see here that there are four dormers in the front and four in the back. I've decided artistic license to add a center dormer. And like I say, this is not a how to do it video. If you want a how to do it video on how to make dormers, maybe just Google it on YouTube. But I just want to show you, there's a lot, there's a lot involved in these. I mean, first of all, you have to make the dormer. Let's just grab one. You got to make sure it is angled properly to the roof so that it sits up and down. 
You want to make absolutely sure that the boards are running the right direction. You have to go back and you have to put in the, the fascia trim. Of course, you're going to have to touch up the fascia trim with some paint. That's no problem, I'm doing the fascia trim there. You're going to have to put corner trim in. Uh, the windows, you're going to have to decide whether or not you want shades or acetane in the windows. You're going to have to go inside the dormer and you're going to have to uh, brace the inside of the dormer with some bracing, some wood to prevent them from warping. And after you've done the bracing and after you've done the fascias and after you've touched everything up and you've, you're all ready to, to, to put the finished dormer in. It's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. Folks, if you like the channel, please hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, please hit the like. And uh, stay tuned. I will show you some um, video of this bakery in O scale. It's almost 48 inches across. It's a big mama. And it's a piece Howard did for me. And you can look back on the channel in a past video episode and watch Howard sketch this out for me. It's pretty amazing. Folks, thanks for watching. And thanks for supporting the channel by subscribing and hitting the like buttons.